Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokul Lover, and let's continue playing as the Communist United Kingdom. Union of Britain. Yeah. Communist Union of Britain. Woo, that was a close one. Anyways, so I guess I just found where developed the Reichenland's tungsten mine in is. It is in Cornwall. Or no. It's not, is this Cornwall? Plymouth? Yeah, this, this, this is... This is yeah, this is Cornwall. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty darn sure it is. I'm not big on my English or Welsh or Breton UK locations, whatever. But I think that's where it is. Anyways, we will go to war with the Netherlands soon. They're not being guaranteed by anybody. And and then from there we will figure out what we're doing next. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, obviously, the Axis is looking kind of thick, surrounding Hungary. As the French and her allies are not doing super well against um, the Axis. So, what, what is Hungary doing? They went with a fascist path. Renew Rome protocols, though, so they'll be friendly with Italy, huh? Now, that's interesting. Alliance with Italy. Fascist path towards Italy, and Italy is doing jet engine stuff. They haven't gone with Italy first. All those, also, by the way... Uh, I didn't, I forgot to tell you guys that I will not be here today or tomorrow, so I'm actually recording these ahead of time. That being said, just leave your comments below regarding any sort of miscommunication or error I may have put on screen or anything like that, because I'll still be around, I just won't be able to make videos. That being said, um, I'll, I'll still look into your comments and whatnot. Stuff like that. So, we're going to go ahead and go to war with... Actually, don't do that yet. No, no, no. We want to make sure we can beat the uh, <clears throat> the Dutch Navy first. <clears throat> so, you guys are doing tactical bombing, tactical bomber close air support. Actually, I want some help with naval strikes and whatnot. So, you all come down here and do that area. And I have other planes somewhere. Ah, right here. Let's see. We have fighters, 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 fighters. Uh, come down here and do that as well. We only have so many days to do this. And we will, of course, need a little bit more oil, which we already are getting from the United States, which I don't mind getting some from them. It is costing us some, you know, civilian factories, but whatever. Okay, then. I did not think that would happen. Um, well, Italy's in the Axis now. That's pretty much the death of Greece for us. <clears throat> And that'll probably be the end of the French because they're out of manpower. So there goes most of Europe. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Nice, we got a little bit more fuel to work with. And let us go ahead and see if we can do this. Call all of our allies in before they don't leave us. Awesome. We, we actually have a lot of nations in our alliance. We didn't know. The Pacific Worker State. Did you know about that one? Or the Maldives Commune? Or the Republic of the British Antilles? Very powerful countries here. And also, by the way, last time, when we liberated a bunch of these African countries, we liberated them as communist countries. So that's actually extremely good for us when we basically reform our faction into a more British communist friendly faction. Commune, if you will say. Nice. Alexander Jones, you are a communist leading the socialist state of Ghana. Welcome aboard, Alex Jones. I want to make a joke about a potential terrorist attack, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, anyways. Uh, all right, then. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see what our Navy can find around here. And, uh, yeah, because we are, we are currently at war with the Netherlands. And my cat wants to leave my room once again. All right, I'll be right there. Ah, Mocha still doesn't love my voice. Anyways, ooh, we have found a submarine. We found a few convoys, and their naval space is naval space. Pretty good. They got a couple divisions here and there. Uh, we use our planes, close air support, and tactical bombers to sink more subs. Very good. You guys are doing an okay job. I don't want to send my convoys in without. Oh wait, hold on. Without escorts. Strike force, uh, send the patrol group as a naval invasion support. We're going to switch that over to that, so that actually, that's pretty good. Our planes are looking around for enemy ships to kill, and we will send our soldiers in. Nice, two more subs sunk. Now it looks like they only have four left, perhaps? Maybe, perhaps. 
And the rest of these guys... Two, three... Actually, just give me this button and we'll do that. So these guys are ready to go when I need them to move. So we are starting our invasion of the Netherlands to give us a foothold into Europe. And like I said at the end of last episode, once we once I have the Netherlands fully under control, I will start liberating a small portion of um, Ireland. So that you know we our government isn't overburdened. And we think, you know, within a year, the Irish have really learned quite a bit of being of how to be a true communist. Uh, some British subs, a couple of Dutch convoys, I love it. So on quite a few ships already. The Dutch East Indies aren't aren't in the war. I and mean, look look at all these allies we have. We are so good. You would never get this many allies if you were following any other sort of ideology. Wow, look at that. British Malay has 30 factories. That's a lot for a minor power. For especially a Southeast Asian part power. Jesus. Um Alright, so we found some guys here. Uh Dutch East Indies are at war with us. That's fine. Uh, I kind of figured where I was expecting maybe a few more divisions to uh, maybe be around here. Go ahead and do that. Come up here. I want one of you guys to get to the hog. Actually, does Rotterdam... Rot oh, we took we took a port. We took a freaking port. And we have all linked up. I'll take them out as well. Take them out. Uh, Amsterdam is extremely important, but Leeuwarden... Is also extremely important as well. Nice, fourteen Dutch convoy sunk, and no casualties yet. Hmm, interesting, interesting information. Actually, I'm going to send you over here so I can cut these guys off as well. That'll be good. Send you guys to Amsterdam. Actually, send you to Amsterdam as well. Come down here and take out Breda. We should be able to take the capital with this type of force. Uh, let's see. I want you to come down here. Nice. Ah. Okay, then. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not so sure about the Dutch East Indies. Hopefully our allies will take care of those guys. But, let's see. Liberate them. Well, I will make sure that in due time, that the people... It's really about the people. The workers understand that they needed to be liberated from their chains. The bourgeoisie chains of the Dutch elite, we'll say. And we will liberate all of these places in due time. And of course, oh, satellite the Dutch East Indies. Satellite Republic of, oh my goodness. Um, they need to be, those Dutch East Indies people need to be taught proper communism. I'll, I'll put it like that. Uh, as well as the Dutch workers. All in due time. All in due time. Will they, will they learn? Wow, Soviet Union, you invaded Danzig? Holy crap. Uh, with that said, I did say... I would liberate a portion, a small portion, of Ireland. Now, that being said, uh, I will have them as a puppet, but I'm going to take, obviously, some of these territories back. Because I don't trust all of Ireland to really be on our side just yet. So, there we go. And actually, colony state, colony state, that's fine. I just want the territories and whatnot first. Very good. So now we have our own little island. We have liberated a small portion of the Irish People's or Irish People's Union under James Larkin. And it is my really my goal to uh, have them fully liberated. And to do that, I will make sure that eventually I will ask for more resources from Ireland. Obviously, they don't have any at the moment. But by the time we take over or <clears throat> not liberate the next country's workers, I will slowly give the Irish back more and more territory, including Northern Ireland. That being said, we got some dockyards to use. Awesome. Now, obviously, we cannot continue supporting... Wow, this is a lot of dead Dutch people. I'm so sorry. It, it had to be done. It had to be... Oh, 32 convoys, my god. Uh, but, all of you, I want all of you to not do this. I want you all to go home and repair and hang out and have, like, a good smoke break or something. Oh, you don't even have an admiral. Uh... Retreat decision chance could be good. Number of first ships in contact. Wait, minus 25% retreat decision chance, plus 20% retreat de decision chance. So this actually has a minus 5% to retreating. Not bad, not bad. Especially with air controller experience, especially with carriers. Yeah, we'll definitely give Bruce Frazier that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have you. I want you to just stay home. Stay home. Repair. And I want the subs to do the same exact thing, because I just cannot support all all the stuff. 
With that being said, we finally will be able to produce another carrier very soon. And we will need... We already are making cruisers, destroyers. I have to have heavier ships. I just have to have them. Can I make this any better? We have three guns. Our speed is pretty darn slow. I will add a radar to this. Can we... No. That's the best armor we can get. Best engine we can currently get as well. That looks pretty good. I need these big, big boys. These big, heavy ships. That'll be good. And, of course, we will need more convoys. Alright, not bad. And we've got a couple more factories. Do we need anything in particular? Well, we need to use more tanks. We could use more heavy fighters. Uh, let's see. Where are the tactical bombers? Are okay. They could use a few more. And naval bombers. We're not even making any naval bombers. That's a big N-O for me. At least make a small set of naval bombers. Not a bunch, not a bunch, but a small set. Hmm. Carrier naval bombers I think will be okay. Tactical naval bombers. Tactical bombers are okay. Um, Infantry, that's, that's pretty much okay as well. I'm really focused on a very armor-heavy uh, build for my military. Very good. Everyone, go ahead and retire. Go to the ports. Repair. Good. And actually, we could probably send one group out to do stuff. Let's see. Docked in Scottish Highlands. Oh, we have a cruiser. Awesome. Actually, does this person have 10? I thought it was said 11 for a little bit. That's only 10. Actually, before we move on and keep on going on, where shall we next liberate uh, another great person here? Portugal, you don't like us, even though we are technically supposed to be allies because of the Treaty of 1337. Norway might not be bad. I want to say Belgium. I really want to say Belgium should be in our alliance. And their workers need support and liberation. Actually, oh, there's no extra claims here. I can't separate the the uh, Walloon and the Flemish. Hmm. If I go to war with the Belgians, the Germans might attack me because they want that territory. And they've broken through the, Mac the first Maginot Line province. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, if we go to war with the Belgians, we can liberate workers in the Congo. That could be very... What the heck is this? Co Cooperative Republic of Guiana. Port of Spain. Trin wow. Wow. Oh, man, I can't interfere in South America. I was thinking about that for a little bit, but they're guaranteed by the U.S. Go figure. As well as Canada. So that's out of the question. I'm thinking the Belgians, just because the Belgians have oppressed so many people in the central Congo for so long. I mean, I don't need to tell you too much, but <clears throat> I think they could use a hand down here. I know, that was a terrible joke. Terrible, terrible joke. That's not a bad idea. And this would give us an even bigger foothold into the European continent. And it will take 70 days. That's actually a good idea. So let's do that. I know it's giving... It, I'm taking some serious time to figure out who I want to <clears throat> help liberate. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Go ahead and hold. I don't want to use up as I don't want to use up all this oil. Actually, for my fighters, um, I don't want to use my planes for this. I'll tell my fighters to train because we don't have that much air XP, and it's really good to train them. Go ahead and do that. All right, awesome, very awesome. How are you guys doing? You are all repairing, and you guys actually have quite a bit of repair space. And before we move on too far, let's take a good look at the British East Indies. Oh, look at that flag. Isn't it beautiful? Actually, it's low down by one speed because I have a thing to do. Let's see. Mut they have mutinies. They have a ton of manpower. Curtail colonial autonomy. It may well be possible that the continental Netherlands are overrun despite our best preparations. In this case, we should look to alternatives, and one possibility would be to relocate the government to the capital of the Dutch East Indies in the name or in the city of Batavia on Java. We should make it clear to our colonial administration that we may soon take direct control of their affairs instead. They're liberty ethos, but they're communists because I satellited them. Um, I can send volunteer forces and political power. That's not bad. Volunteer corps, that's so fine with me. That's fine with me as well. Why we fight... I'm okay with all of that. I'm totally okay with that. Also, before we move on too too far, I want to make sure that uh, I don't need this. And to help uh, our new colony, <clears throat> new new uh, um, uh, friends, friends, yeah, friends is a good word. Communists have friends. We will make sure that we support their economy. 
that's what we're doing here, supporting the Dutch, British, East Indies colony. British. Wait, British Malaya, Dutch. British Malaya, British East Indies, where's it? Let's go through a day first. Um, Dutch East Indies. Oh, this is it's supposed to be, it says Dutch East Indies, but it's supposed to be British East Indies. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and the Regini Palme Dut questions of Belgian sovereignty. You pretty much skip those always. Also, we're led by this guy, Rajani Palme Dut. He was actually a very historical person. I think he was like half Indian? I think it was half Indian because Rajini, Rajani. Very historical figure here, obviously. Great person, obviously. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty darn good. Our goal is just to make sure that we are the friendliest of people, and I'm surprised Poland's actually been able to hold out. And here we go. Decolonization. It is the end of an era. I've already read this last time, so I'm just going to tell you the effects. So, we got plus 10% stability, 5% more popularity of communism, 100 more political power, uh, and what's that? 100,000 more manpower, and we leave the Commonwealth research, which honestly isn't probably a smart idea. And we've averted a civil war. Can any nation say that at a time of crisis? Not even the United States could. They had a civil war about 80 years ago, and they couldn't reconcile their differences. Anyways, let's go with the fate of the royal family. The notion that one person is worth more than another, more than another purely by birth, sickens us. The immense wealth the royal family continues to flaunt is a thorn in our eyes and would undoubtedly be of much better use spent on rearmament and industrial expansion. Perhaps it is time we killed two birds with a single stone. All right, so, um, oil from the, so oh, I'm getting oil from the Soviets. Oh, from you guys. Three, oh, three. Um, honestly, that's okay. We don't have... We don't have any... Well, it looks like... I guess I lost all of those subjects, and I should not release Ireland that quickly. Oh well, whatever. Alright, so anyways, we can get back in the faction anyway, so that's fine with me. And that's the only group that wants to be in my faction. Now nah, go figure. Whatever. All right, but we did get a little bit more political power. Actually, let's see this first. We still can't build this up or change that yet. Uh, I don't think we can actually upgrade the carrier any further at the moment. We need better radar. Yeah, we can't do anything more. Political power. Actually, is there any event we can do? War propaganda against the German Reich would be good. Ban fascism is a smart thing to do. Um, trade union stuff. More weekly war support isn't bad. Another military factory. Well, I think we're okay at the moment. How's our tungsten look like? Not bad. We're okay for now. So let's go ahead and choose one of these things. We can't, probably can't do total mobilization. Actually, what about... We are we are on export focus. <clears throat> well, we don't really need to change that. We're still pretty good. Well, I mean, we're out of chromium a little bit. But other than that, that's not too bad. War industrialist would be good to help us build faster. Oh, more war support and daily communist support would be great. Eventually, I will choose Sylvia Pankhurst. Just because we need we will need more population. Hmm. With this, naval research speed plus 15%. Now, they all give me 15%. That's pretty good. Truck size. Max range isn't bad. It's okay. Screens are okay, but you really want carriers to have well, maybe a little more armor, more HP, but you definitely want those capital ships to have more armor and heavy attack. And I will be researching a lot of naval stuff soon, so let's do that. Good. And the Irish People's Union has accepted the offer to join our faction. Great. What about you guys, huh? You've been liberated. Oh, you're in... Wait. Oh, so they left. But now they're back with us. And we're still called the Allies. Oh, God. It's near the end of the French Commune. That's not good. That's really not good for us. No longer get effective support of the trade union workers. Ah, decolonization of the British Empire. At midnight today, the long-awaited transfer of full sovereignty for the various subject nations of the British Empire was accomplished. Despite the British government's invitation for former subjects to join the Allies, many have chosen to go their own way. The move continues to be controversial domestically, but is greatly applauded by socialists internationally. What weakness this has caused for the Union of Britain's position in the world remains to be seen, as does the situation of those nations who elected to go their own way. The future was inevitable, so we have made it the now. Interesting. Um, let's continue building this up. I don't care how much it costs. I need just more construction of stuff. More refineries so I can stop, you know, using other people's oil when I need to use it for myself. And, yeah. 
Let's do that. So you're over here. You are, you are literally just all subs, which I'll add to more patrol fleets later on, or escorts. We have three extra subs. Very cool. Which actually, I will transfer you over here, and you, and then you combine. That'll be good. Anyone over here need uh, training? Probably someone does. You guys could use training, as well as you. Awesome. Oh, unfulfilled import request. Oil from the Soviet islands of Indonesia. Soviet islands of Indonesia. Soviet islands. What the hell? Well, they're not... They're still in our alliance, so I'm not too worried about that. India, Pakistan. Just just go to war over Kashmir, please. Oh, no. Qatar's left. Who cares? Belize has left. Bahamas have left. Guyana's left. Jamaica. Pff, we didn't need you anyways. Only a war can bring communists together. Right, Soviet Union? I'm, su I'm not surprised, honestly, that they're not doing as well as I thought they would. Just because, if you take a look at the Soviets... <clears throat> Officers purged. And the Poles have... Honestly, not that much good stuff going for them. Not bad. Ooh, Crusader. Awesome. We can finally make some medium tanks. But the Soviets... Before we move on, let's see how many men have been killed in this war. Pol Mongolian-Polish war. So on the common turn side, they've lost a third of a million. While the Poles have lost somewhat close of, to the same numbers. Alright, so we got medium tanks. Good, good, good. Finally. We could produce better artillery, which is exactly what we're going to do. And change this to medium tanks. Oh, we're going to need some more chromium. God dang it. Uh, we have six of this, 20 combat width. Good to start off with that much. Tanks and then tanks. That's all the XP we have at the moment. Better get used to it, boys. Malta. Pff, Malta left. Honestly, I might just take these countries out in the future anyways. It doesn't really even matter. For you guys, actually, I might just go ahead and convert you to tanks. I know this will really hurt our tank production, but whatever. I I want a, a good number of tanks to begin with. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Do we have any extra spare? Ah, oh, screw it. You guys train as well. Any? Ooh. Interwar bombers? Yeah, go ahead and train. I need as much air XP as possible. Ah, yeah, some heavy fighters as well. Very good. Very, very good. How many more days until uh, the Belgian workers get liberated well 40 more days not bad we might want to do two of those groups at a time though so you guys are needing um help let's say we'll say they need help and becoming stronger better people as we watch the world burn and the french commune is definitely dying this would probably make national spain join the axis and from there then they'll probably go to war with the Soviets, which are struggling very greatly against Poland. Very, very greatly. Hmm. Could I potentially take on Germany, Italy, and Republic and Nationalist Spain? I hope so. And you, Croatia. Oh, God. I'm kind of surprised the Greeks are still holding out so darn well. It's kind of interesting to see. Let's see. Is there anything else we can do here? Uh, actually, yeah. Let's expand the Chromium mine. We'll lose a little bit of civilian factory, but we get four more... Chromium, which is kind of worth it, in my opinion. Deshis Indies. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we don't need to give you that many. Oh, God. Oh, we've been trading away a lot of our factories for nothing. Nice. That's not bad. Lots of more oil, because... And rubber. We get rubber for every refiner we get, so that's actually extremely good. German pressure towards Benelux. Oh. Um, Germany, please, no. Please, for the love of God, no, no, no. Oil, which would be good. It is 1939 still. Um, da -da -dum. Oh, we can do more naval doctrine stuff. That'd be fun. 1939. We got the armor. We're researching the artillery. We got the gun, the Sten gun, already done. We could use better uh, recon companies and engineering companies. But we can wait. Naval doctrine isn't a bad idea, but I want more... Oh, wait. Radar. I have to do radar. That's just too invaluable to use, especially on your ships. Germany, please. Oh, yeah, go to war with the Swiss. Go Do Operation Tannenbaum instead of... What? God! Ugh, Germany! What? They went to war with the Belgians, in which I want to do the god dang same thing. So we're probably not going to get Belgium. So be it. We might be able to get Norway. 
if we fat if we're fast enough, we might be able to get Norway. And why would we want Norway? Because Norway is a gate open to Sweden, to Finland, to maybe an eventual border with the Soviet Union. And Norway, do you have any supplies, resources? Yeah, you got a little bit of aluminum. That's not bad. And, oh, I'm just trying to find more ways we can keep a strong hold on Europe. Because, you know, you can invade Africa as much as you like. But in my opinion, it's probably not going to be super worth it. Ugh. Denmark or Norway? Well, Denmark has the 11 aluminum, and how many factories? They have 4, 5, 6. Wow, it's easy to remember. Versus 8, 4, 11. Yeah, this definitely has more factories that we could use. They have a bigger navy, I think, than the du the, than the Danish. These guys have definitely less manpower, so it would be easier to take out Norway, which we could get to Sweden then, which has a ton of steel. That's actually a good idea. Maybe we go invade Norway. Let's go ahead and do that. 90 days. If I cancel this, because the Belgians will lose very quickly because of what the French are doing, and they join the French commune, and I don't want to really fight them that much, even though we would probably win in Africa. Uh, I don't want to attack another fellow communist, even if we disagree. So, let's go ahead and cancel our justification, because I don't want to go to war with Belgium just yet, even though we were so close. This, and it will make it only two months for us to invade. Not bad, not bad. With that in mind, I will go ahead and tell our infantry to prepare themselves for the invasion of Norway. And for the love of God, I hope, I really hope, that uh, that they don't, that Germans do not come for Norway. Because fighting them by myself might be a little difficult. Especially if they own a large portion of Africa, and I can't get any oil. Oil is key. That's why I'm making a lot of refineries. Um, yeah. So we're trying to get three different ports. Come here, and then we will go to here, and then here to help stranglehold that province. And we'll do this, and then this, and invade from here to do the same thing. Hmm... Here and here. That'll be okay. Because if we can take this port, we can link up with Christensen land down there. God dang it, Germany. You're ruining my gameplay. You're ruining my life. Alright. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of these guys here. In what was the Netherlands for a while as maybe a defensive force. Let's say. Against any sort of German intrusion. Oh, nice. We got free civilian factories to use. Great. Fuel capacity could go up. How much? Per, what's the fuel capacity? 683,500. Not bad. Not bad at all. J just in case, though, um, I'm going to build a couple forts. Yeah, just, just in case the Germans might get a little... Uh, weird with us. And you know what? I'll probably never even use these, but whatever. Mm, we want a bigger military, but we need more civilian factories so we can afford more things. Uh, let's build them here. Let's do that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. And we got a lot of oil, which I want to use to increase someone's skill level. British patrols, patrols, patrols. Do, 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 Copy strike. Do, 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 Alright, uh, let's see. Can you be upgraded? How long will that take? Actually, can we upgrade you any further? Do we have better... Oh, we do have better things. Nice. That's actually really good. How about better anti-war... Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. Oh, we can't upgrade that now. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, can we upgrade this ship to... Hmm. Wow. What's the difference? An Anson? That's not, not too bad. And this would be way different. Armor? This That's a battleship. This is another battle cruiser. Uh, holy crap. You, this is not very good. Anti-air. Um, yeah, we definitely need to make this a little better. Give them some aircraft stuff, too. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's yeah, not bad. 
That takes wow, that's a lot of days. No thanks. Um da -da -dum -dum. Oh, we got another uh carrier here. Awesome. We finally I guess we finally fixed up our carrier. Awesome. And we can't build this up any further yet, so go ahead and replace him with this. And then we're almost done with another destroyer. Great, great, great. Uh, actually, someone wants to train. Anybody want to train? No? Do we have any offers? Any takers? Sure, you guys can. Go right ahead. Oh, good. More Coast Guards. Go ahead and do this area as well. We'll need them down here. And the destroyers must be done. Awesome. Destroyer Mark 5s. Looking good. Looking very good. Awesome. Actually, can we upgrade those cruiser holes? That's that's pretty good stuff there. Sonar. Sonar is good for seeing subs, but I use these guys for radar. Surface visibility. Good, 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 good. And we're almost ready to make the next cruiser. And November 14th, which I'm going to forget about. As we watch the Germans actually lose Bitburg, huh? Yeah, I didn't want to go to war with France anyways. Not yet. Maybe someday. But really, the Soviet Union is our last goal. I don't mind taking out the French, but the Germans, fascism has to die before I take or attack any sort of communist family member. Not really. Oh, but communist fake brothers, fake friends, basically. So, the fate of the royal family, detained in, the, in an unofficial house arrest in the splendor of Buckingham Palace ever since the transition of power. The time has now come to do with the royal family. Public opinion has made it clear that they must all go. All that remains, though, is what to decide in what manner and what to do with their wealth once it seized. Exile them to Canada, which we will get for a year. Much faster construction for factories and dockyards. We'll remove the spirit of a national spirit, George VI. We lose 15% stability. And Canada gets the royal family in exile, which gives them quite a good amount of, um, you know, army statistics or army buffs. They will be tried and sentenced. We lose stability. We remove King George the Sixth, and we still get a bonus to, you know, factories and whatnot. Well, what I am currently thinking of is that even though they were bourgeois and they did, you know, oppress people, we don't want to see them die. I mean, they are still people. They're still, you know, we're still trying to be egalitarian to a degree here, you know? They're still people. They still deserve an equal share, as long as they pull their fair share. However, with the Canadians getting a bonus to their military, recovery speed, more stability, and war support, we don't want them to come back to us. Now, I hate to say this, but if they were allowed to go to Canada, they might come back and stab us in the back. And right now, I just saw the Mexican Soviet Republic. Frickin' FES. I had to do that. I'm sorry. I had to do that. I'm, yes, we need more stability, but they were sentenced. Uh, if anything, they will be kept in jail for the rest of their lives, but I just couldn't see them going to Canada to rile everyone up there and stab us in the back once again. But that was my decision for now that we have made. And we, next we will do for the good of the revolution. All will be willing to make the sacrifice and comfort for the good of the state. The British people will keep their heads high in the face of rationing. Confident that it will ensure our eventual victory. So we will get rid of the national spirit award and awards. And we will get more consumer goods. And if you don't know what the award and awards, we get 25% more recruitable population. With that in mind, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I want to remind you that this was done ahead of time. Uh, just like tomorrow's. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And like I said... I will be here somewhat soon. Thanks for watching.